Well hello everyone, Arxy here, welcome back to the Oaks Realistic Multiplayer server. It is November, we did skip through getting anything done in October, there wasn't a huge amount that we needed to do, we did get a cultivating contract done, and we have been taking care of the animals, making sure they are all fed and things like that, but other than that, it was actually kind of a quiet month, we did try or want to try and get some seeding done, get some canola planted in this first field here where we had all our oats, but uh, timing was against us and we didn't actually get the chance to so we've missed that little window uh, but it's not too late to get some canola planted come summer or springtime there is still an opportunity to get some winter wheat or uh, something like that put in and maybe some more grass and I've got some plans for seeding some more grass but that feels sitting there basically ready to go um, but today we are uh, well right now we're going to head down and mow our grass it's going to be our last cut of grass for this season um, I still do need to double check whether we're going to make it into silage or hay I think we're going to probably go with hay I think we've got enough silage for now for the animals um, to get us through winter until we can get some more grass done in the new year so that is probably the plan but let's just get down there and we will go and have a look but the main task today is we are going to be going and giving days to hand with harvesting some potatoes so he's uh, probably halfway through I think with this potato harvest it's been a bit of a marathon effort so far spread over a couple of months with help from uh, quite a few different people here on the server um, but today it is our turn to go and give them a hand at something we've been wanting to do and we've finally found a window of opportunity where we can align our schedules and both be available to do that so uh, that's really going to be the focus of today's episode but for now we're just going to jump in here get this mode doesn't take too long to get done um, just get things turned on and lowered down and we'll be into it so uh, we'll jump into a little bit of a time lapse to start off with and we'll catch you when we're done Alright, well I think that is us done. Pretty quick and uh, painless really, get everything turned off and folded up. We'll head on back over to the yard and get this all put away. Now you would have seen that uh, Dazed has logged in while we've been in here, so uh, he's just about ready to go with some potatoes, just getting a field opened up I think. Um, so we will just suss out what we need to do to go and give him a hand. But uh, that is what we've done for now. Um, what else is there to say about it? So just looking back across our fields, just a bit of an update. So the two down the end there, probably going to put those back into a cereal crop next season. Uh, wheat, oats or barley. The field around there, that is going to be canola. And then this field just in here, plan is for days to put some potatoes in the middle. Um, we just need to figure out the angle he can plant those at for the rows. I think it's uh, on the north, south, east, west axis is about our limit. So... We might try and square the field off a little bit, give them a nice square in the middle, and then around the outside, if we can have three or four headlands of uh, grass, where we can run around it three or four times with the mower, um, that should give us a good amount of grass, actually, when you think about it, compare that field to the size of the one we've just mowing. So if we can get a couple of cuts off that and everything, it could be kind of good. Could out work out. Could work out pretty well. Anyhow, 
that's the plan. Um, but for now, we'll worry about getting down and giving days to hand on his potatoes. So we'll uh, head on back, get this put away, and uh, move on down to his place. Well, we're back here at the yard. We've got the mower taken off and everything like that. And uh, we gave days to call. He's still not quite ready for us. Um, so I was just actually perusing the supply contracts. And there's a supply contract to take 22,000 litres of sorghum down to the nearest cell point one of the near cell points to us it's not too far away we don't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the map so i thought we'd have a look through here we do have some sorghum somewhere 50,000 liters so we will get this topped up i can't remember how much our trailer takes i'm hoping it's 22,000 or a little bit more and we can do it all in one trip we'll just have a look there and we just short is it no here we go 22,720 so we'll just take all of that down we'll oversupply and we'll get a little bit of extra payment for it once we sell it but there we go let's uh go for a little bit of a drive now this cell point is down opposite Dazed's farm actually so it's not too far straight down the road through the village instead of turning right where we normally do we'll just carry on going straight down there and go and get it delivered so uh it makes sense to do it i think the best price we could get for sorghum was something like 540 dollars per thousand liters this is going to reward us effectively 590 so with a little bit of extra effort and uh, it's just good to get a little bit of money in now you might also notice that our money's dropped down by $24,000 or so. We did have a bill from Mark for the drying of our wheat and our oats. So that was about $24,000, $25,000, which does make me think if we'd invested that into our own drying plant, uh, $40,000 to buy that, we'd actually have paid for half of it just by doing that. So maybe for future years, well, that's something we might consider doing. But uh, just a little bit of lag there, and we did have a little bit of an issue with the tree before and some lag, but... The joys, it is a multiplayer server, that's just what we have to deal with. But anyhow, not too much further to go down the road here. We'll go and get this dumped off and make a little bit of money, recover some of that we've just lost, and uh, wait until days are ready to get going. Right, here we are. This is the sell point for the grain, so we'll just uh, head on through here. If we get a trigger as we dump over, go over the dump point. Just wait to see it, turn around and have a look. And there it is, sorghum. So this shouldn't actually give us any money. It should be going, there we go. So there's no money coming in uh, until we get to the last 720 litres. Just let that tip. See what ends up coming of it. There we go. Supply and transport contract is complete. And we got that $400 or so for that extra. So uh, yeah, it's not bad actually. I hadn't actually thought about the fact that we need to factor in our environmental score bonus for that contract. But let's just take a look at that. There we go. There's supply and contract. $12,956 so we'll collect that and uh, happy days now that's not our contract um, it shows up when someone else has taken a contract and then cancel it or it fails or something it um, shows up as failed for us as well so I don't know what the issue is but it is what it is we'll deal with it right so we're heading back up this way back up to our farm just in here on the right is Day's yard with this potato processing plant and everything like that so uh we will be spending a bit of time down here in the next wee while as we go through and help him out with this harvest. Anyhow, we'll get back up to the yard and just wait for the call. Well, here we are. We're down at Day's farm. If you know him well, he is a bit of a JCB fan. Uh, he's got these custom black JCB fast tracks. Uh, which model are they? The 4440? Are they 4420? 4220. It's a little bit smaller one, but pretty good for hauling. And uh, we've got the Stuart trailers on the back. So we're going to head on down to in one of these. We're actually get that started up we're actually going to go and do the field up by our yard uh, and behind our yard he had a field in there which is uh, three quarters done but at the moment it's just him and I so that's going to be probably the easiest one for just two people to work in uh, if there's anyone else jumps on the server and wants to come and give us a hand while we're here then we will uh, we will certainly do that but for now we're going to head on up that way Days is on his way up there with the harvester um, getting things ready to get started up there so let's carry on up we'll get back up to our yard uh back up there and make a start of getting some potatoes harvested so here we are we're heading down to the field that's our yard just over there over yonder um this is probably the next field i want to buy if we can afford it looking actually quite positive looking at the amount of product we have sitting in uh in silos and what potential income is for it mark hathon twight TW Productions owns the field there on the right and as we get in here you will find this is the field that Days has had potatoes in. So as you can see they've pretty much harvested everything over there from the left and uh, we're just stuck with this little wedge back in here so it's a little bit awkward uh, probably quite a bit of turning and things like that and I think from what Days said he might just be selling these potatoes rather than processing but let's go and get over here 
get underneath the auger, um, we'll have to figure out what speed he works at and we'll get everything up and going. Well there we are, we're up and going uh, using a bit of speed sync there to make sure we match our speed with the harvester and uh, as you can see definitely do have those pretty awkward uh, awkward little areas in there, some pretty short little sections we're going to spend a lot of time turning around in, um, but yeah there you go, this day's harvester set up, um, pretty straightforward actually, doesn't look too bad at all. What are we, 6%, maybe 6% full just getting across that part, so I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this, but uh, we will just figure it out and go with it, so if we jump into a little bit of a time lapse here harvesting this, it's going to be the best way to see what's going to happen and uh, we'll just get into it. Alright, well there's our first load full. Uh, it's been pretty slow going having those short little passes and lots of turning and mucking around on the end of the rows, but uh, it is what it is. And we have got to here. So we're going to run this down. We're heading down to the farmer's market, which is actually just down the road. It's not too far away at all. So we're going to go and get this sold. We've actually uh, transferred over and we're now running, operating on Dazed's farm, so we're not going to have to worry about transferring money or anything like that. We have actually moved across to that. So uh, we'll get down there. Farmer's Market, just down the road by the gas station, and we'll go and get the first load sold, and I probably reckon there's probably only maybe one more trailer load, maybe one and a half left down there to do, so uh, let's go and see how much he makes per trailer. This just here and on the right is the Farmer's Market, uh, pretty much opposite the road now, there should be a sale point I think out the front here somewhere, just actually try and see where it is, is it out the front or out the back? I don't think it's out the back because I'm pretty sure that's the uh, there's a buy anywhere. 
cell point out the back. So I think we need to go to the front. Um, yeah, that's a placeable one that's been put down. So I'm pretty sure. We'll just run over this one. I'm not going to dump in there. It's one that we put down separately, but I'm pretty sure. If we go across in front of the shop, there should be a trigger just in front of here somewhere. So we've got some more help coming in with Tate. Let's just wait and see. Do we get a dump trigger driving through? There we go. That should be a trigger here for the potatoes. Let's just take a look and see what we get here off the load. Just over five grand once you get the environmental bonus in, so a lot of work for five grand, but uh, you can imagine how many trailers might have come out of that with uh, with the work we've done already that's been done in there. Um, just looking at the small section we've got done. So let's get back down to the field and we'll just carry on. Uh, it'll be interesting now with Tate here. Might actually transfer over. Probably be good to get this spot finished, but uh, might be able to get into the other field and make a bit of a dent in that one now too. Alright, here we are back. Days looks like he's all lined up and ready for us, so we'll just pull in here. Next time, make sure we don't collide with the auger. There we go. Swing that around. There we go. That's us all sorted. So let's carry on. Get this little bit of the field finished, and then hopefully we can go and get into the bigger one down the road. Well, there we go, field done. Nice little bit here. We had Tate log in. He was all ready to come over and give us a hand. Um, but as it's worked out, we've got pretty much a perfect amount here to fill our trailer up 96. Well, we're going to not quite get to 97%. That run out of the harvester. There we go, that's us done. All folded up. Uh, so there we go, that's good to get that all finished off. I don't know how much of that I will have shared with you with the time lapse. It probably gets a little bit boring going around and around in circles. But uh, we are going to head down to field 61, uh, which is another field that's a bit bigger. A bit more hauling, that's all going to be going back to Dave's yard for him to be sorting and things like that. So we might go down, spend a little bit of time helping him get that field opened up and underway. And uh, 
do a little bit more work down there but for now we're going to take this load down to the farmers market get it sold and then head on down to the next one all right there we are unloading for this load so we should end up with about that same five grand or so uh for dazed and there we go there he goes the harvester back past probably see tate following close by there he goes the trailer as well so uh we're off down to field number 21 uh 61 it's all going to plan we will uh be able to go down and follow them get into a bit of a convoy going down there because then they can uh show me which way to go i'm not sure exactly best direction there we go just make them out in front of us so let's carry on and get down to the field so here we are this is field 61 in here on our left you can see dazed is just making his way into the field got tape behind us let him go first he can uh take the first trailer out we might actually throw the drone up put together a little bit of a montage uh should be good to see some potato harvesting from a different perspective like different camera angles and things like that so uh we'll let them get into it and make sure we're on standby and ready to go once we need to get in there and uh, do our thing but uh, some nice big long passes or longish passes will be a whole lot nicer as well that's not so bad is it a bit longer than what we were just doing so hopefully uh, we can get in and make a real dent in this field pretty quickly We've uh, opened up the new field. Days is down here moving some potatoes around. I think we need to just get ourselves backed in to the production point there and uh, get this tipped in. That'll get everything up and running. So let's just back up just uh, in front of it. There we go. Put ourselves a trigger. Let's see if we can zoom in and have a little bit of a look as these go in. If there's any animation or anything like that, that we'll just go. There's a bit of a fill plate there. So see that filling up um, but then that we just jump out here and go and have a look we've got that running down and then that comes through in here and starts to sort the bags and things out into different boxes different pallets different uh, sizes and it sorts it all out so we might just wait and see here if we can just watch for just a minute we might see a box spawn the uh, 
days since running around. There we go. There's one of the uh, pallets that spawn in there. Just deal with that lag, and that one is a seed potatoes. So they tell by the number on the box which is which. In the way. Best forklift operator and farm sim. If, uh, if I had to pick someone, pretty talented man with the forklift. But yeah, there we go. That's the uh, that's potato production. Right. Well, that is us all emptied out. We're going to jump back in here and head on back up to the field. Keep things going. Back down here at the field. We've got Tate running the tractor. He's 47% full. So we can uh, get down and back and not actually be too far behind, which is pretty good. Sort of a little bit of downtime waiting, but other than that, it's not actually too bad. Let's have a look across the field. We've, uh, what have we actually opened up? A quarter of it? Probably a quarter of it because as the rows get a little bit shorter. Um, but that's not too bad. It's a good start on it as it is. So uh, that's where we're at. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, but I think you've probably have seen enough potato footage for now, and uh, we're just going to stand here and help out days for a little bit. Um, Give the other guys a bit of a hand and see what we can get done but for me for today from the oaks that will do it so as always thank you all very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this episode and i'll catch you in the next one